none of y'all stopping me. Don't need the axe, chopping trees, planting seeds, planting schemes, crossing eyes, dotting T's. Lines are blurred, I cannot see. For I die, I'm top three. For I die, I'm top three. For I die, look, this is the moment I waited. I took all my options and weighed them. What's going on, YouTube? You're back with the Prez out here in Juniper Park today. And today we're going to be bringing you calisthenic, body weight only, chest focus workout. We're going to be getting back to old school classic training when I was training for tournaments. And I was actually winning back in the day, right? It's been years since I competed like that or trained like that. So now I'm going to get back into the nitty gritty, the old school way of training. A lot of sets and reps, weighted reps, bar sets. So we're starting with our standard warm up routine that I like to do when I'm really going to get into heavy volume work sets like this. So it's going to be, like I said, a chest focused body weight session, but we're going to really warm up with some scapular work first. I already did my band dislocates. I'm not going to film another video doing that. So now you're going to see just some scapular work before I get into the working sets. So you guys are going to just see some scapular pushes, protract, deep press. Very important guys, strengthen the scapula, work it through its full range of motion, get comfortable and used to engaging it through full protraction, retraction, elevation, depression. So straight from there we're going to go to the pull up bar. Now I'm going to show you guys, now you're going to just see scapular pull-ups. Remember, no movement in the arms for either the push-ups or the pull-ups, just working the scap. Fully dead hang, retract and depress, one. Just 10 reps of both movements. That's just the warm up. And before that, I did my band dislocates. So, standard warm up before I get into any real bar work. See you guys at the bar. Let's go. All right, so the warm up sets are done. Like I said, this is going to be an old school calisthenic routine. Classic sets that I used to do on the regular. This really helped me build up my bar endurance, my dip performance, my reps and sets. This is the way I used to train when I used to compete on the regular. When I won first place in dips, probably back in 2014. I'll put up the trophy for you guys to see also. So, and here you're gonna see guys, 2014 first place dip trophy. This was in the, obviously the NBXA calisthenic tournament where I hit 70 dips in one minute. It's been a while since I really trained hardcore like that, right? So now we're gonna start the routine off five sets a bar work. I told you it's a chest focused routine, but since it's going to be bar sets, obviously there's going to be pull work involved. So the routine is going to be one muscle up, 15 dips, come back down, one muscle up, 15 dips. For a total of two muscle ups, 30 dips. After we hit that second set of 15 dips, we're going to come down and we're going to hold the negative and we're going to stop chin over the bar and we're going to hold that for 10 seconds. So two muscle ups, 30 dips total with a 10 second chin over the bar isometric hold five sets of this and this is just the first routine of the day so let's get to it fifteen down up
15, now down to a chin over the bar hold. That's set one, four more sets to go. I'm gonna to try to keep it a strict two minute break period in between each set, five total sets. Let's get it. Let's get it, set two. Right back down. Two sets, three more to go. All right, set three. All right, that was three sets down, ain't gonna front. Definitely feeling the fatigue on that. It's 32 total reps with the 10 second isometric. So the next routine I got up is gonna be a really tough weighted chest exercise. So I'm not gonna hit all five sets of this. I'm gonna rest about three minutes, go for one more round, four sets total. All right, let's go, set four. Rest about three minutes since set three. Let's finish this set strong. All right, so that was four sets, one muscle up, 15 straight bar dips, one muscle up, 15 straight bar dips, 10 second isometric chin over the bar hold. Told you I wanted to do five sets, but the set itself is fatiguing. I have a weighted routine plan next, and I don't want to fatigue myself too much where I can't complete that set. So weighted set right now is going to be the actual main focus of the workout. These bar sets, working more on endurance, getting my body prime back into working, push pull, non-stop, keeping that heart rate elevated. Makes the sets harder, especially when you're hitting high reps like that. So now I'll rest about five, six minutes before I get into the next routine. Let's go. All right guys, so second routine of the day. It's been about six minutes since you've seen me hit those bar sets. Really let my whole ATP, nervous system, creatine stores, everything recover, right? Took a nice six minute break, let my heart rate come back down to baseline. Now we got the 50 pound kettlebell on. You already know guys, standard routine, training with the 50 lately. So, classic sets that I used to do to build up volume, endurance, strength. We're going for 10 total sets of 12 to 15 reps a clip. I'm gonna go for 15 reps 
for as many sets as I can until I have to drop off. Then if I have to drop off, I'll aim for 12 reps. And if 12 gets hard, if I set 10, I'll drop down to try to hit 10 reps. But the goal is 15 reps for as many sets as I can. And listen, strict one minute to 90 second break max in between each set right now. No longer than 90 second break. Really working on keeping the rest period strict, letting the heart rate just get back down to normal and then get back into the set. Let's go. Set one, I'm gonna put the stopwatch on. And let's go, see you at set two. All right, so it's been one minute, about 15 seconds, a minute, 15 second break. By the time I start to set, probably just about a minute and a half between the sets. Let's go. See, 15 is tough, but that 90 second break should give me enough time to bang out a few rounds of 15. Let's go. All right, so set three, I'm showing you guys it's about a minute and 20 seconds into the break. I cut the audio off on this one so I don't have any copyright claims. I actually had some music playing on my phone during this clip. So set three right now, 15 reps. Let's get it. Woo! All right, three sets. I'm gonna aim for five sets for 15 reps, then I'm gonna drop off. All right, 120 break. Let's go, getting back on the bar. Set four now. Why? Why? B. B. Music. break so by the time I get back on the bar probably be around two minute mark and by the time I set up and everything and look guys switching up the angles so set five last set of 15 then I might drop the reps down or we might do isometrics we'll see we got five more sets to go after this though 15 reps let's get it on broken five sets done I rested about like I said two minutes between set four and set five there I want to complete ten sets total so by the time I get on the bar for set six I'll decide whether I'm gonna go for ten reps twelve reps or maybe fifteen seconds of isometric negative holds or I'll mix it up five more sets to go let's get it alright so minute forty break right now getting back on the bar set six so decided to do, I'm going to go for as many reps as I can get, set six, and I'll keep hitting reps each set until I start fatiguing. Alright, so, I'm going to aim again, 12 to 15, round six. Four more rounds, restart the clock, 
I told you, I was going to do strict 60 to 90 seconds in the beginning, but just because I didn't realize how fatigued I was going to get, and I want to keep hitting these 10 plus reps, up the reps, up the break to about 90 to 2 minutes now, so set 7 coming up, alright, so 156, a little longer right now, probably get on this bar, around 205, it's alright guys, set 7. Alright, set seven, another 12. You can see that 12th breath. It might be a little sloppy looking, struggle, but I'm forcing it out. And now look guys, this is where, this is where it becomes mental, right? It's hot as hell out here. I wanted to hit 10 sets. I had a number set in my head, 10 sets of 15 reps, right? Obviously, it's not going as planned, harder than I thought it was gonna be, right? That's where the mentality kicks in. Very easy to say, all right, I did this many sets. I'll try it again next time. I said I'm going to hit 10 sets, so I'm going to hit all 10 sets, regardless if I get the 15 reps a set or not, or even the 12. Like I said, I might drop it down to isometric holds. Isometric holds is still going to put that time under tension, and again, it's just pushing through, finishing the whole 10 sets, putting your body through the work. Let's go, guys. Three more rounds to go. All right, guys. Just about two-minute break right now. Set eight. Three more to go, remember guys. Right now, I'm gonna drop down, just for this set, I'm gonna drop down to a 15 second isometric negative hold, one lockout, 15 seconds. So instead of repping this set, we're going for isometric holds. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. So just me doing those isometric holes in the negative and the top is still gonna give me just about the same effect as me hitting those 15 reps a dip a set, right? 15 sets. Sorry, 15 reps a set. You get exasperated when you're working this hard. Reason being is when you're doing the 15 reps and you fatigue, right? It's not that just the muscles that are fatiguing, it's the stabilizer muscles too. So just being on the bar, being able to hold with this 50 pounds for a long amount of time, again, will help you increase those reps. Granted, we're eight sets in, obviously the muscles are gonna be getting more fatigued as the sets go on. The two more sets to go, set nine, I might do another isometric hold, and then set 10, we'll be repping again. Let's go. All right, so. Right now it's only been a minute 10, but I had to take the weight off. Listen, one of the hardest things about doing the 10 sets with the 50 is keeping it on the whole time. Very annoying on the hips, always pulling you down. So I'm strapping back up. Remember, we got sets 9 and sets 10 to go. Minute 40 break. Now, since set eight was that isometric hold, I'm not as fatigued. Remember, holding isometrics is gonna be less stress on the joint than going rep and rep after rep, right? So isometric holds, less stress on the joint, still giving the muscle a good amount of tension, building strength, and besides being less, strength, uh, less stress on the joint, you're also gonna be building more tendon and joint st uh, strength and stability, holding at those 90 degree isometric holds. So now it's over the two minute mark, Set nine, now we're gonna really get a nice isometric hold this time. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! And you can see, starting to shake on that 15 second hold. So that's nine sets done. Go for another two minute break right now. Set 10, we'll go for reps again. Let's get it, clock starting. All right, let's go. 
140 break so far. Let's go guys, set 10. We're going for reps again. 12 reps minimum, hope up to 15. Wait to the two minute mark and I'm gonna start. Four, three, two, and let's go. All right, 12 reps. Didn't want to overdo it. Didn't want to risk extra joints uh, problems for the elbow. Everything's feeling good right now. Don't want to overdo it. So 10 sets of 15 or 12 reps with the 50 pound weighted dip. With strict 60 to I'll go up to two minute break periods. Really just letting the muscles recover to the point where you're ready to go again. I didn't let my body recover too much. Every set I was just about ready to go. A little fatigued, but that's the point. You want to work under a little bit of fatigue to get the benefit of it, right? You want to keep those muscles stressed as much as you can. So I hope you guys enjoyed this routine. This is the second exercise of the chest-focused calisthenic workout, right? First routine was four sets on the bar. And remember, this is the second routine. Prior to this, we did four sets of 30 straight bar dips, plus muscle-ups and isometric pull-up holds. So we were already 120 body weight dips in. We got one more exercise to go for our chest, and that's gonna be a wrap. See you there, let's get it. All right guys, so last chest routine of the day. We just saw we finished off with 10 sets of weighted dips. If you guys can't do weighted dips yet, you don't have to do weighted dips. Doing body weight, do 10 reps a, dead, a set, do 15 reps a set. Build up that volume, really get good at body weight dips. It's gonna help you build up on your overall reps per set. If you can hit 10 sets of 15 body weight, dip, weight dips with a strict 60 to 90 second break, you could probably work up to one set of 50 to 60 reps, guarantee it, right? Really gonna help you work on that overall volume. So the last routine of the day is gonna be push-up work. We're gonna do it three ways, starting the hard way. So we're going 10 down for 55 total reps. We're gonna start on the low bar, because remember, the lower the bar, the harder the set. Now remember, when doing high volume body weight work, 50 rep plus sets, right? Especially when doing body weight with no added weight, you're mostly gonna be working endurance, right? It's really gonna be working on those endurance fibers. Not too much benefit for muscle building, but you can tailor the high reps to make it more effective for building muscle. So if I wanted to make this 55 reps harder, how do I do it? By doing my 10 to one pyramid routine. 10 reps holding 10 second isometric hold. So breaking down the 55 reps into smaller sets in one big clip. So each set is really working on almost in that hypertrophy rep range. So by the time you get down to the three, two, one, the reps are hard and you have to force them out more strength building. So you're gonna be working endurance, strength, overall bar capacity hitting the sets like this. So 10 down, three bars starting on the low bar and then I'll break probably three to five minutes in between each set. Probably only gonna show you guys set one. I don't wanna keep making the video too much longer and these sets are probably gonna take about five minutes each with the rest period. So let's get to it. I'm gonna throw on a song that's about five minutes for my mental, and let's get to it. 10 down.
had a break. One set. Four down. Then on that last rep, failed on pushing up. Had to get back down and try it again. So 55 reps. I call it the hard way with the ISO holds in between. So that set took about three minutes. I'm gonna rest, like I said, five minutes. Two more attempts. Middle bar, high bar. And the goal is to get them unbroken. If I don't, I'll break when I have to. But I'll get the sets done, guys. Look, it's a wrap. Body weight only. Chest routine. You don't need any weight for this. You don't gotta do the dips with weight. Could all be done body weight. Do the bar routine first. Work on that bar capacity. Work on combining muscle ups, pull ups, dips in one set. It's really gonna help you build a great physique. Listen, I'm telling you, I find that doing strict muscle ups are gonna help shape the overall physique. One of the best ways. It's gonna give you that wide B taper. It's gonna build your shoulders. It's gonna work on core, everything. So, and you get better and better at them. You can start working them cleaner and cleaner for better results. Hope you guys enjoyed this routine. Just try it out. Tag me. Don't forget, guys, like the video. It helps the algorithm. Share it with your friends, your family. Subscribe if you haven't already. And share it to more people so they subscribe. And like always, guys, peace out. Born Naturals. And they all love to talk. You know they do that shit the most. Think you on my level, boy, but you ain't even close.